Hello, my name is Vineet and I'm going to tell you how to automate the process of monitoring your websites. Now say for an example you have a blog which you need to be up always but uh, there are times when your readers complain that your website goes down and you're not able to um, monitor it when, whenever it goes down and uh, you have sleepless nights monitoring your website um, or you might be spending money on a software which um, you know pings a website pings your server and gives you the report but what I'm gonna tell you here is a very easy method which is uh, totally free and whenever your website goes down you'll get an email and SMS if you configure it um, so it's it's very easy uh, you know to just uh, put in your basic information like what all websites you want to monitor and later on this software will work for you so let's get started so I want you to go to Google and search for PHP server monitor so this is the website phpservermonitor.org now this open source software is totally free and you need to download it okay this is the latest release in my case okay now once it is downloaded you need to upload this on your server any server it can be uh, where you can run this script you know and for me I'm using a GoDaddy server so I'm gonna show you how to upload it connect it with the database and how to make it up and running all right so now it's downloaded and I am going to create a new directory inside my server so this can be server monitor and I click on upload all right wait okay so this is the one now I need to unpack this I'll click on extract and okay alright so I see that there are these folders and files which are further there inside a folder so I'll just move them uh, to the outer directory and I'll just take them to the outer folder that we created earlier and alright okay now that uh, the things are extracted so I'm gonna hit this folder via browser so so here is my URL the press up dot in slash server monitor all right now let's go now I need to put the information related to the database so I'm gonna create a um, database here I'll go to databases and create a new database so let us say I'm gonna name the database as server monitor um, 
Um, okay, so it says the username has already been taken. So I'm gonna tell it that uh, let's name my database server monitor 30. And my password, I'm gonna choose a password. And once that is done, okay. So, once I put the database name and username um, and the password, I'm going to click on OK. So. All right, we're good. Uh, right. So, this is the host name which we need to copy and paste here. And this is the name of our database and this is the username as well the password was alright oh, yeah. okay so the connection to MySQL was successful this is what we get and in my case the config file is not writable so we cannot save it for you which means that I'll have to create a config file manually in the server and uh, save this information on my right hand side inside uh, that file so I'm gonna copy this create a file called config.php and paste this information inside this all right now i'm going to tell the server monitor that i have saved the configuration by clicking on this button all right we're good now we need to pick a username and a password so let me call my username as server monitor and choose a password and choose a mail this is a final step and now it says that go to your monitor that means we are done and now I'm gonna put the username which I picked up all right so by default there are two websites which the makers of this software configured in the software uh, these are gmail smtp and sourceforge so unfortunately i'm not going to monitor any of these two websites and waste my time but i'm going to configure my own websites so i'm gonna click on add new and give it a label for example, I'm going to monitor my website called Edutainment for You. So this is a label which I'm going to give, and I'm going to tell it that the name of the website is EdutainmentForYou.com, and this is a website which I'll select from the drop-down list. Rest all we don't need to pick. Okay, so I'm going to say no to send SMS because I don't have any SMS API as of now to, to configure um, but you can always go ahead and configure your SMS API I'll tell you how and pushover also I'm going to say no to and send email is yes so I'm going to save it and we're good okay Similarly, you can add your own websites, some other websites which you would like to monitor, right? And there is no limit at all. Add as many websites as you can. So if you have, say, 100 websites, which I do have, more than 100 websites, uh, you know, of my clients, and it had always been a challenge for me 
to allocate a resource who can monitor the websites every day. So my teammate used to come in the morning to the office and uh, you know spend an hour and a half to manually check the website and there was some kind of very expensive software available at a later on stage which I subscribe to and they seem to be very expensive um, you know for me particularly because I had many websites to monitor so uh, anyways this is the software which I told you about and you can always give the access to your teammates your friends uh, the people who want to add the websites later on for you you can always get the users check the logs um, and uh, you know so far they ha there are no logs because the website is up and again go to configuration page um, go to email and if you want to configure SMTP for you you can always do that and in case you want to configure SMS then you need to do the settings of your gateway right and so these are the gateways which are already inside the software right so in case the gateway that you have purchased from your vendor is not among the uh, list you can always tell a developer uh, configure it for you it's not going to cost much I believe and this is these are the pushover settings since this is a open source software and the developer is very kind enough to support the future updates as well so you can always go and click on update right now you see I configured this website just two three minutes back and it is already showing me the logs so this is uh, showing me that it checked the website 20 seconds ago it was last online 20 seconds ago latency is this much it is monitoring it and here is a graph which is already showing uh, I think it's too early to look at the graph because I've just configured the website so I'm gonna leave it to you now that you can explore it alright thank you so much